on this 1997 Yamaha Phaser 2. Only issue we got today is the cord is broken. We're gonna be fixing that. So the next portion is one 10 mil, one five mil Allen, another five mil Allen right there, and then a 10 mil Allen right here, and the fan shroud comes off. And then uh, we're getting pretty close to getting the cover off for the pole starter. So you got one 10 mil we gotta get down here, which might be a little tricky with the frame, but I don't, hopefully there's nothing underneath here already got two of the bolts out so stay tuned so there are four 10 millimeter bolts to get the pole starter off uh top three are pretty easy it's gonna be this guy right here this one is a little tricky this one's next to impossible it was easy to get out but i don't know how i'm gonna get back in and then there's this guy right here, which is really easy. So I loosen up the oil tank just to give me some extra room. Probably didn't have to do that, but I can clean this crap out of here. It looks like some mice are in here, some sh stuff over the years. So that'll be good. Ugh. And uh, yeah, let's pull apart the pole starter now. All right, so pretty simple, standard. We got a, a 10 mil. A lock washer top plate uh, we got a spacer with a spring and we have this cam with uh, this little spring that goes onto this little knob here so uh, this disc comes off and connects onto that bottom spring there this looks like it's seen better days but we'll uh, go rewrap this, tie a little knot in there, get some new string, and uh, see what we're working with. All right, so since we have the old handle and the old string, I'm just gonna measure out what we need here. It ran with the old stuff, so same length should be this, no problem. We got the Honda line rope, that's the best stuff. As you can see, we love Honda three-wheelers. So just line this up, get the same length. Just want to do a little extra. So next we're going to feed it back through, left or right. And tie this up. throw a little melt on that too so this is probably the harder part to show on camera but what you want to do is spin this up not sure how many times that is but that's getting pretty tough and to keep this from fraying what we can do is Wrap this in electrical tape, and then you cut it back, just like that. And that holds it all together for you. That way you can feed it through. Also a vice grip helps you hold your position on your winding. Actually adjust that a little bit. Like 
that. So you just punch that through. Yeah, but that saves you a whole bunch of hassle for sure. So after you got this all set up and held tight, you want to bring this through the new handle. You want to tie a new knot. So really quick to how to do that. I always like to loop it, twist it, and pull it back through. That gives a better knot. You know, it's something like that. Okay, we might have to redo this, so I'm not going to melt that end. Let's see if we wound this up enough. So I got this back out. I think we did perfect because it's working. So let's reinstall it, see what happens. I've never seen this snowmobile run before, so this will be exciting for me and you. As you can tell, this is my first time doing this. So uh, this little loop right here and here is where the handle needs to go through. So I need to rethink this a little bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the handle off, get this thing mounted over here pull it through and then redo the handle out here. So let's see how that works. So this is how we're gonna reinstall it with this knot on top. That way we can pull this loop right here underneath all that through the loops it should be and then reconnect the handle out here. Okay, so a quick reassembly of this. It's gonna be this cam right here. And this little spring needs to go over that post. And then swing that over that. So that has this action. This spring slash washer goes over here. And this, I really wasn't paying attention, but I think it only goes on one way. Goes like that. Slips in there. Lock washer over the top. We're fighting that spring right there, so tighten that down. Get her started, make sure we don't cross start it. Now at this point, we're going back together. Tighten this up. Fucking mint. So yeah, here's how that cam works. It engages like that when it's pulled. See that lever comes out right here. I think that's how, how it's supposed to work. So now to reinstall it. So I'm gonna try and tape this the best I can, but basically this is the frame and this is the motor and without pulling the motor, somebody with fat hands like me, the only way to do it is a pair of needle nose, grab the socket that holds you in place, gets you started threaded. And then you can crank where you're at. Little tip for you. Anyways, you get the idea. So there's one really hard bolt to get underneath the whole thing. I'm gonna make sure I can pull it through, make sure everything's good before I put in that last bolt. Cause I don't wanna do it twice. So I think the quick way to do that, something like that. That's good. Pull out the length that we need. That should be funny. I'll do it too tight so you don't ruin it. Undo our knot. Hopefully it didn't do too tight. Put it back through the handle there. Make sure we tie it up tight again. We can release this. Slap in, feed that back up, and now your handle's in place. So, all you gotta do is put that last bolt in the bottom, and we're ready for testing. See if this thing actually runs. Wish me luck. Quick tip 
when you got a bolt in a tight place, just take some electrical tape, push the bolt through onto the, the socket, and then it's nice and tight on there. Hopefully we'll be able to grab it that way. All right, we still gotta put the fan cover on, but let's see if it actually starts. Well, we know it pulls through, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna put the fan shroud on and pull the spark plugs next. We're gonna pull the plugs, see what we got here. So that's gonna be a 13 16. All right, we got four new plugs, two of them pulled out, and uh, fuel. There we go. We got some pre-mix for the chainsaw. This should be good enough. Put this in a spray bottle. See what it is. out. Gasoline by spray. So we got two new plugs. Right, so give that a little squirt. Give that a little squirt. Make sure it's everywhere. And put it back in. You don't want to use starter fluid on uh, two strokes wash out the cylinders oil and screw up your rings so dollar to uh, spray can is the way to go all right New plugs, new gas, let's see what happens. Fired. Sorry, new gas one more time. All right, just sprayed the secret juice one more time. Let's see if this works. All right, we got Got firing. Might just have bad gas. We'll see. Keep trying this. All right, ran the longest that time. Try one more. That was the third time. We're about to use the top hat helmet. Check this thing out. This thing's sweet, right? All right, we're about to do a dry run on this thing. It's studded, so it'll rip around the yard, no problem. Uh, so ignition on. Two pulls, baby. Bought this thing not running. Didn't know if it would. 5,310 miles. Fix the pole start. New plugs, old gas, old oil, about 3,500, let's see if she'll do, baby!
works, guys. Pull her back underneath the deck. The Phaser 2 and the VMAX are ready for the season. Come on for the hard part. Ugh. Ugh. Dude, look at this old turd. See if she'll start. 